So one thing I noticed yesterday while working on the dust collector arm, whenever I did the tapping for the one bolt, I had to pull the things out of the plastic blister packs or whatever they're called uh, for this set. And they're a pain to get back in because it's really supposed to be a one-time thing. I had been storing them in there, especially for the larger one, because that was easier because they were large. But these smaller sets especially, and realistically the larger set too, that's not the ideal way to store them to use. So since I have three sets, I'm going to try and figure out a nice little box to make to put these in so that they're a little more usable. I may I may decide and do three boxes or I may to do one box or may I just maybe I'll just do a box for this one and leave since the metric I don't use very often, maybe leave that in the pack for now. This one I use more often, so maybe I'll just merge this and this since they're both SAE. I don't know. But anyway, I tried twice to put them back in. They didn't want to go back in. It kept poking my hand when I tried to go into the side of the plastic. So I'm going to come up with something to fit this better so that it's more usable. All right. Well, I think I have an idea of what I want to do to put all of these bits in and with expansion. So because theoretically, I will eventually accumulate. Well, maybe, maybe not. But in case I do accumulate additional sizes, the smaller size is the same for both the metric and the SAE. And the larger size is fairly standard as well. And then there's bigger than that, but I don't see me ever needing bigger than half inch on a normal basis. Probably, at least in my current garage setup. So what I did was I figured out that these are an inch across basically from flat to flat and then these are basically 5 8 inch so I took Forstner bits and my drill press and made a whole bunch of these for the smallers so theoretically I could use one row either one row for the English one row for metric or alternate and then alternate it doesn't really matter as long as I have it labeled so I should be able to label it next to the, the hole. And then for the larger ones, again, I only have four right now. So one, two, three, four. So I have room for three more. I have room for tons more on the smaller, but that's the way it goes. So that's the plan for this initial bit. And then I saw online that some other people, or I should say some other boxes that people had used, they had a slot, so basically a slot that runs through, and then that way you can reach in and grab. So I, using my fingers, I figured out that, okay, as long as there's a slot there that I can pick it up, that's about 20, 30 seconds in between. Should be enough room for fingers to grab and pull them out. So I got all the holes drilled. Next is to cut the slots across and then, of course, figure out and, you know, tweak in because the, the points stick out further. So then I'll have to just get the points carved out and whatnot such that they all drop down in. And then that will be this part done. And then I have to figure out how I want to store the handles and the other bits. The bits should be somewhat easy. I should be able to just get a board, drill holes down in, plop those down in, and that should work. And then these, I have to figure out what I want to do with those. Maybe I'll do a foam top, and then these will be cut into the foam on the lid kind of thing. Like this will be the bottom of a box. We'll have all the drill bits in one row, and then these in the other row, and then maybe in the lid. I'll have foam, because I have a bunch of foam that I got from places. So maybe I'll just cut some foam and put these in the lid. All right, I made a little bit more progress. I got all of these installed. As it turns out, I had uh, an additional one as well. That one was a 12-24. Uh, 
in, in the larger size versus the smaller size. But I got the smaller SAE ones, English. So 632, 832, 1024, 1032, quarter 20. Then metric, M3, M4, M5, and 6, M7. Then 1224, quarter 20 in the larger size. 5 sixteenths, 18. 3 six, or 3 eighths, 16. And half inch, 13. And then after looking online, I saw a lot of people, because I didn't really, well, one, I have some duplicates of this. So I have three quarter 20s, for example, three 1032 NFs. Uh, so I didn't want to just put them all in a little bin like some people do because I didn't want to get them all banged up. So I saw some people online just had them drilled into a board and then labeled. So I drilled them into a board and labeled for the SAE ones and then the metric ones. And then I still have to go through and figure out how I'm going to put the drill bits for each because I have a metric and SAE and the bigger SAE ones. And then I have to figure out how I'm going to put these things in a box. And then I also have wood taps, which I might as well throw in there as well. Uh, just since it's a tapping box, you might as well put them all together. So that's good progress for so, so far. I have two extra of the large size that will fit and a bunch of the smaller ones that will fit. And then I have space in here to put some 12s if need be, just to match the 12 24 that I have here, if nothing else, that will fit in between here. And then, yeah, I just have to, probably I'm going to get another piece of wood and put the drill bits in the same way as I did the taps, just on additional pieces of wood. And then this will all work. So I'm going to try and get them all compactly stored in pieces of wood and then figure out how best they'll end up stacking. Because like that, for example, would stack. And then this wouldn't need to be that much bigger than the bottom bit. Um, but then the handles and things need to go. So yeah, I'll have to figure out how it's going to go. Um, this worked out good. <laughs> the one thing, did you know if you have the table saw and you're on a line and you drill on the wrong side of the line, you don't end up like this, you end up like this? Yeah, that's what happens. So basically I was slightly off well, on the other side of the line when I ran it through and then looked, it's like, oh no, I took the edges off because these were the round circles initially and then I just put angles on to fit the little pieces. But because here that didn't work, I put an extra piece of board down in there because this is down lower. You can see here it's down lower than where these are supposed to sit so that it's enough room for fingers and stuff to get down in to grab them. But I put a board underneath, that'll work. And then this side, it just ends up being square versus angled. So metric is slightly off. It'll work. But yeah, next time, get these things in a piece of wood. Get that all lined up. And then decide and figure out how I want to put it in a case. And then make the case. But I figure I'll get the insides sorted first. Because then I can stack it up in different orientations and see... And there we go. I think this is all done and good to go. So this should work. And there's spaces for extra pieces if I get different sizes. I don't think I'll have any different sizes, but you never know. Uh, I got the drill bits put into pieces of wood with little, basically with the, the pieces of write-up off of the packs and also wrote on the wood which goes where so that way you know, it does that so I got the SAE the metric the other pieces that go with it to use it I have this piece the shadows are because it's down in a drawer and the lights above me so I got this all going good so that way you can see all the sizes of taps and that's all good. Yeah, I think that's going to work. Initially, I was going to make a box to put it in, and I still might at some point. But I don't use it very frequently. And when I do use it, I expect it to be somewhere right here in the bench area. And since I had space in the drawer, I figured, yeah. That way, it won't get banged up. 
That way I can see it all at once. I can grab the pieces and I even have my wood tap set here. So I think it's gonna work. Everything is not in the plastic cases, which was the big thing I was trying to avoid. It's much easier to use. Everything just pulls in and out. I can pick these up easily for both sizes. So I think that'll work. So that's another successful project.